how to install Ansible with PIP, the Python Package Manager. Today we are going to talk about how to use the up-to-date version of Ansible in Linux and macOS using PIP. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Today we are talking about how to install Ansible with PIP. PIP is the Python package manager and is going to take care of all the process and manage the necessary dependency. It takes care of the download and install process of packages directly from PyPI. PIP is designed to be operating system independent. It could be a solution for developers that always want the latest up-to-date release. The alternative approach is to use the operating system specific package manager. For example, for Linux, YAM, DNF and APT. And for macOS, Homebrew. The second approach put more emphasis on stability so the latest release could be not available. So, if you really need the latest release of Hansible, I would suggest you to use PIP. Demo time! Let me demonstrate you how to install the latest version of Hansible with PIP, the Python Package Manager. And welcome to my console. First of all, I would like to install Ansible on my target machine, which is Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So, first of all, I'm connecting to this machine with SSH and then type Python dash module PIP install dash dash user because we would like to perform a, the setup as a user. Ansible, the name of the collection. Yes, bear in mind to use Python 3. Now is the default. Is going the PIP is going to download the file from uh, the Python location. As you can see, it is going to download uh, Ansible 4.4.0. is a tarball and is about uh, 35 megabyte. And we ended up with an, with an error because uh, you can see that uh, there are some problems with a version of PIP shipped with a distribution. So let me upgrade PIP. I'm performing this as a user because I don't want to do like globally. So the way to, to upgrade is to use PIP install dash dash upgrade PIP. We have uh, a permission error, yes, because I forgot to add the dash dash user. Now PIP is 21.2.4. And uh, let me type again the Ansible install. Mm, it's going to reuse the previous downloaded file, in my case uh, Ansible 4.4.0 tarball, which is 35 megabyte. It's going to expand the tarball in this moment, my workstation. It is going to take a while because there is a lot of dependency and uh, library. Oh, here we are. The dependency is Ansible Core, Jinja and some Python library that is going to be downloaded at the moment and installed in the system, as you can see. After this step is successful, Ansible depend from Ansible-Core and that is already downloaded and ex expanded. Now all the Ansible tarball is going to be expanded, but bear in mind that uh, there is a lot of small file, so it's going to take a while, not because of the dimension, but because of a lot of files that are going to be written to your hard drive. This is the real performance on my workstation. In your case, it could be faster, and uh, we have a spinning wheel that. Uh, a testimony that uh, is not stuck the process. 
So let's see how much time it could wait. As you can see, it's completely automated once you type at the PIP install. It's taking care of everything. From downloading the tarball to expanding to also taking care of all the dependency, all the library of the system. And this is quite remarkable of this system because uh, you don't need to take care of this small detail. I remember in the first time when you need to download manually the tarball and uh, fix all uh, the dependency with all the library was quite a nightmare. So it's still spinning, but uh, now it's stopped because I have a feeling that it's going to finish early. Let's see. This is <coughs> the real time on my workstation, so I didn't do any changes. As you can see, we are run doing, uh, yes, done the install of Ansible successfully installed and you can see also all the required packages. Let me verify the version installed with Ansible dash dash version like usual. And here we are. Oh yes, with this, this warning that uh, with the uh, next release uh, is going to require Python 3.8. But here we are, Ansible Core 2.11.4 is the latest release and is installed perfectly in our workstation. Now you know how to install Ansible with PIP, the Python Package Manager. Subscribe to channel not to miss the next episode of Ansible Pilot.